Hey everybody, I'm going to be reviewing the Concealment Solutions Black Mamba CE, which stands for Combat Edition Holster, and what makes it a CE holster? Well, what happens is the cant is a little bit different, and uh, you also get this extra material here removed, so when the gun's in there you can get a full combat grip, and um, the rest of it's the same as a regular Concealment Solutions holster. You still get a um, really strong American-made leather backing. You get a hand-molded U.S.-made Kydex. Uh, everything that Jason at Concealment Solutions done uh, does is all uh, pretty much handmade and from U.S. materials. And um, I've been waiting to do this review for a little while now because I wanted to see what could be an issue with this holster and so far I've only found one and that could be getting solved here because you now have the option of adding horse hide as your back instead of this cow hide but what happens with me is um, sometimes when I unholster the gun and it's on my body this little piece of leather kind of folds in there a little bit doesn't have too big of an issue because you can still just push it out of the way with your gun and reholster and this is a Clear gun, no mag, and there's no round in the chamber. You can tell because there's a little thing right there that would be sticking up on this version of gun if it had a round in the chamber. And just to be sure, safety checked. And uh, that wasn't a safe direction, by the way, for all you safety Nazis out there. And retention's really good. And you can also improve it. I'll post a video on how I was able to get my holster to where you can do this with it. And have no issues. And uh, uh, it's really good. The clips on there are spring steel clips. So you don't have to worry about them breaking like on some other tuckable design holsters that are well known out there. And um, it's also tuckable, like I said, so you can stick your shirt behind there and cover up all this. So all people see is your belt and uh, these little black clips, which is good for me because I wear a black belt. And now this gun does have a full mag in it. And uh, there's no round in the chamber, though. It's been one continuous shot. So I'll just show you how well it kind of retains the gun with a full mag in there. No issues. And when you factor in having your body pressing against the back of this and your belt pressing against the, the front of the gun and uh, the uh, side of it there, it's not going to come out unless you're pulling it out. And um, there's other ways to adjust it. I'll post a video on how I adjusted mine to get the retention really good on it. And um, it comes with, instru yeah, with instructions on how to do it, but there's really no video on it. So I figured, eh, I'll post it. And I've had this for a few months now, so it's kind of formed to my body. And uh, formed to the gun also. You can see little kind of indentations where the parts of the gun are sticking out there. And... Uh, It'll take a while to get it all worked on, but once it's perfect, you're going to know, and then it'll be really good for concealed carry. It's really comfortable. I can still carry this full-size Glock 22, and I can pretty much just do it in a t-shirt if I had to. I usually don't just have a t-shirt on, but uh, if I did, I could get away with it, and uh, it wouldn't be printing very bad. It would be a little bit, but... Uh, I'm in Washington, and you can't get stopped if your gun's printing, and it's a pretty good setup. I like it. I also got a Python gun belt, which I'll post separately, and uh, you'll be able to see a good review of that. So, upcoming videos, how to adjust your Black Mamba holster, and uh, the Concealment Solutions python gun belt and if you guys aren't listening to the gun dudes that's how i found out about this uh holster company i was just going to get a uh other tuckable holster but uh then i figured out that these were cheaper well 
I guess they're about the same price wise and it comes with uh, actual steel belt clips at the time this other company I was looking at was offering just plastic belt clips and you could pay extra to upgrade to metal ones but with this one they come on their standard it's fully adjustable so you can change the cant of it and uh, I love it pretty much I got it set up to the point where it works for me cants the gun just white so that I could hold it securely against my body not have to worry about you know, lose my grip on the gun, not to have to worry about it falling out. Um, it's pretty easy to conceal. You don't have to worry about the cover garment coming up more than anything else does. Um, so pretty much if you're just paying attention to if your gun is showing or not, then you'll be able to figure it out. And um, that doesn't mean going around and feeling it every five seconds. Just... Uh, Pretty much when I get out of the car and I'm carrying concealed and not open, I just make sure to kind of rub my uh, inner arm there up against my hip where I'm carrying my gun and see, okay, I'm feeling something rubbery there against my hand. That's probably my hoe grip, so I should probably reach back and cover my gun up. But uh, other than that, you don't go around and just start feeling to make sure your gun's still there. It's still going to be there. Nobody's going to sneak up behind you and grab it unless you're kind of stupid and then if you're in an area where you think that's going to happen this probably wouldn't be the holster for you um blackhawk serpas are really good i have one of those too for when i'm carrying on duty and um it has a good firm retention but for concealed carry this works awesome and uh, you also don't have to worry about discomfort the gun digging into you the weight of the guns distributed and on the belt, that helps a lot too. If you're going to carry a gun, carry a belt with it that's really secure. And Python gun belts are definitely secure. And if you listen to the gun dudes, then you'll know a special way to get deals on these holsters. And if you're not listening to the gun dudes, listen to an episode. It'll be worth figuring it out. And it'll save you some money. And they're funny anyway. I mean, for guys that work at UPS, they're pretty funny. Anyway, see ya.